Hello, everyone. Um, today's topic of discussion is about what does it mean to be SSL compliant? So SSL is also known as Secure Sockets Layer, and it is used by secure sites to encrypt communication between the server. Oh, I'm sorry. Good? <laughs> yeah, ah. sure. maybe, yeah, maybe show your screen too, Crystal. Okay. All right. Yeah. Share screen. Here we go. Okay. So SSL, secure socket layer, is used, um, is a link between a server and a client. So typically a web server or a website and yeah. a browser or a mail server and a mail client like Outlook, for yeah. example. Exactly. Well, let's, well, first, I think the most important thing is let's identify the, the problem. I mean, the problem here is, is, that, is that you could actually be um, significantly hindered by Google in your rankings. And so the problem is, is that you will not, you will actually show up beginning in July uh, mm -hmm. per a, an, an article that was written um, by, and let me show my screen really quick. I just want to show you guys like this is, this is the real nitty gritty. This is why it really matters. Um, here, let me just show you. Um, this is actually, they said, and this is actually an article. Here it is, somewhere here. Okay, Search Engine Land <clears throat> wrote this article, and it's a really, a fairly recent article, February 8th, 2018. It says, effective July 2018, Google's Chrome browser will, not, uh, will mark non-HTTPS sites as not secure. So this little S right here is what lets you know that the site is secure. Okay, when you put in HTTP, see up here, see how it says secure, HTTPS forward slash forward slash secure, uh, search engine land .com forward slash. So you know this is secure. This is a secure site. Now, if I in in July, if I was browsing another site and it it said here, this is this is what it's going to look like. If um, this, it's going to see July 2018. Chrome 68, it's going to say not secure. Like right here, instead of saying secure, if you've got a website that's not HTTPS compliant, that is what people are going to see. So do you think that's going to hinder your conversion rate? Yeah, it definitely will. Um, yeah. and, and Chrome is like a good, huge proportion of the number of people out there that are using the internet are using Chrome browsers. And I'm sure we're probably going to see the same thing from the other browsers as well. And actually, um, Google has been pushing webmasters, it says, to make changes on, to non-secure websites for years now, hinting at small rankings boost to further incentivize the shift. So this is telling you right here that Google is actually incentivizing you. It's saying it's kind of putting a little carrot out in front of you saying, hey, if you do this, if you comply, you're going to probably get a little bump in the rankings. And on top of that, it's going to help your conversions because like I said, people are now going to see you as secure or not secure. So here, here's our website here, HTTPS. You can see it says secure. And um, yeah, go ahead and continue, Crystal, just to give people a little bit more understanding of what HTTP, you know, what this whole SSL is. <clears throat> well, uh, really, you know, just kind of what you had talked about, Ryan, is if your website isn't secure, it's going to have that up at the top. And so that's another reason for an individual to say, yes, I want to continue business with you or no, I don't want to continue business with you. I want to feel safe. I want to feel secure. So I'm going to move to a different client, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. But I mean, I, I don't know if, if people are going to, I mean, maybe some people might want to know a little bit more about the details of what SSL is. Basically, like Crystal oh, okay. was saying, it basically, you know, in, in just the, that one page there on Google that you were going over so that, you know, people really want to understand more about what it is and I don't know, is there anything else there that, that you wanted to add to that um, about the technical aspects of it? Not necessarily. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm looking, but no, not and, really. And, and there is, well, let me just show you. So there is a, there is a site that you can go to. I'll share my screen here. Yes. Um, and if you'd like that site that Ryan is talking about, please type in SSL and we will send it to you. Yeah, exactly. We'll send now here. This is um, so you can go to this uh, SSLlabs.com. 
you can put in your URL. And so you can see that we did for accelerateyourmarketing.com. And you can see that you get a rating. It, it shows you if, if you've got the certificate, if you've got protocol support, if you've got the, the key exchange, if there's cipher strength, all this stuff lets you know if, if you've got a, uh, a certificate or not. Um, and basically, if you really want to know, besides just going to your website or typing in HTTPS and seeing if your website shows up, which is obvious, um, you can you can actually see what your overall rating is uh, for your the SSL for your site. Um, and then, you know, like I said, I mean, <clears throat> um, and you can just go to SSL compliance here, SSL compliance test. And this is the one that we use right here, this SSLlabs.com um, test right here on this on that first page. And I do think that, you know, <clears throat> the secure here, you can see that it, it's used by secure sites to encrypt communication between the server and the user's browser. So this is just so you guys understand what's going on here. I mean, basically, it's making sure that that connection is secure. So you there is a I mean, there's a reason why Google is wanting this, because it makes <clears throat> it makes it so that that everything that's sent between you and that particular um, site is totally secure. And that's, that's a really, that's a really important thing. So, um, you know, these are, these are things that are really important um, that, that it just, again, any of these, these little strategies are so important to do because uh, when you accumulate all of these little, these strategies, then um, over time, what will happen is, is you will increase your rankings. So, it's it's the little it's all these little details that if you take care of, eventually they're going to lead to one big massive shift in your search engine optimization, and um, and well I think we're are we talking the rest of the week about local SEO Crystal or Yep, the rest of this week is about local SEO. Okay, and um, speaking of that, we were featured, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later um, in. Mm -hmm on uh, Yex, which is one of the, we're Yex certified partners. Um, we help businesses significantly by leveraging Yex in that platform. We know our way around it and uh, because we've been using it for years and years now. And, um, and we just got featured on their uh, website uh, as uh, in their partner showcase section and where they talk specifically about the fact that we, you know, we helped, uh, you know, one particular property management company grow from 200 doors to 800 doors and how we did it and how we leveraged, you know, the Yext system in order to, uh, in order to accomplish that. And that's, that does tie in with local SEO because um, one of the things that we do with Yext is we claim up to 73 directories with that system and we make sure there's no duplicates, which is again, part of local SEO. And then we, we post content on a regular basis through the system. And we coach and we train our customers on how to do that on a, on a, on a monthly basis. And um, we're getting huge results. I mean, we just got, um, we just had a huge significant increase in one of our, one of our, one of our clients um, that literally 581 new links on the first page on the first uh, five pages of the top three directory. That's a huge, huge increase. And it literally is just like, I don't think you changed any of the keywords on that on that uh, rank tracker report, did you, Crystal? I mean, that would no. <laughs> I didn't remove any keywords. I did um, add a few for us to follow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's. I mean, to get five. So what we do is we track ninety nine different keywords to see where this particular company and all the companies that we work with, you know, what fluctuations we see in those on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, and again. You know, the whole goal of this is to see if we get any new links and we, I mean, 581 new links that are all opportunities for that company to get chosen. Because if you have a link on the top, you know, three directories, then your business is more likely to be chosen um, because you have more links. So the more links, the better. And so 581 is a lot. So anyway, if you want to learn more about that or other things, just, you can just go to, did you put a link in there, Crystal? Yeah, I have a link. <laughs> okay, yeah, just, okay. You can go to m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. And uh, yeah, go ahead, Crystal. Yeah. And so every Monday through Friday, we're live sharing successful strategies with you on how to become the go-to business in, in your niche. So this week, we're talking about local SEO. Next week is going to be um, 
Google My Business. And then the week after that is uh, online reputation. And so um, that's all I have. Also in the link, um, in the links below, of course, I have m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. If you have any questions for us, just send us a message. Also type in SSL if you'd like us to send you that link that Ryan was showing earlier in regards to testing your site. And then um, I also included our case study, Ryan, which is uh, clicking the link, you know, download and you can read the case study to learn how a property management company got over 371 reviews on Google, got on the first position on Google Maps and generated over 103 inbound leads per month from the search engines. So that's all for today. All <laughs> right. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Thanks, Crystal.